G'day guys, Greg here. Well, it is product review time again. And the product I'm reviewing today is this product right here. Byron Bay Gourmet Pies. Now, those of you who don't know, Byron Bay is a, a very, it's a, let's just say it's a bit of a hippie hangout, just south of here actually. It's got the most expensive housing in Australia. It's where all the backpackers and trust fund babies go for a dirty weekend. And if you're thinking about driving there, forget about it. You can't find a park, and if you do, it's gonna cost you your whole life savings. Now, they are a hippie sort of community thing, so everything about Byron Bay is all about love and peace, being one with nature, saving the planet, and consumerism. And this pie screams consumerism. And as far as price, guys, I don't miss out either. This pie costs $5.50. <laughs> I could have got a four pack of Sargent's pies for that. But these pies have won awards before, so I'm guessing they're really good. Or are they? Well, we're going to find out today by reviewing this pie, heating it up, giving it our taste, taste test it. and see if it's worth buying or not. There's a bit of spiel on it. Let's read that. A traditional quality steak pie with organic chunky lean beef, GMO and preservative free. And it's 220 grams. It's award winning and handcrafted. Handcrafted. Everything's handcrafted. Well, not really. <laughs> but anyway, let's check out its ingredients and see if it's got lots or hardly any. Okay, well, it's GMO free wheat flour organic, plain flour, beef organic, thickener, butter, olive oil, vegetable oil, pure sea salt and spices. Well, that's gotta be the least amount of ingredients I've ever seen on anything. It's got hardly anything. It's got all the good things, meat, wheat, butter. But I wonder how healthy it is for us. Let's find out. Well, energy, 1944.94K. Gee, they got it down to the 0.94. <laughs> How do they figure that out? So in other words, you can have about four and a half of these every day and still stay within your 8,700 kilojoules of energy that every average adult uses every day. It's 12% protein, well that's good. Fat is 9%, carbs is 20%, and sugar is less than one gram. Oh wow, well so far this is really good. It's got hardly any ingredients, which is good. And all the uh, energy and the, the nutrients on the back are, are, are good. Unless you want a carb-free diet, then it's not. But who's on one of those? How about we heat this bad boy up and, uh, well, tuck on in. So microwave or convection, well, that's good. Hit in the oven for 180 degrees, 40, 45 minutes. Cool, so heating this up is gonna cost me like $2 in electricity. It takes an hour for my oven to warm up and then it's gotta stay in there for another 40 minutes. That's an hour, 45 minutes, 25 cents a kilowatt hour. Oh, it's gonna cost a fortune. I thought you were all about trying to save the environment, Byron Bay Poison. <sighs> well, how about I do it in the microwave? That's always easier. And better for the environment. Convection oven heating is preferred to microwave as microwave heating softens pastry. Oh, all right, for a microwave, frozen. Defrost for three minutes, then high for two minutes and stand for 30 seconds. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do it the way I always do it. Four minutes. High power. Now, normally I'd wrap this in some sort of paper, but it told me that I can heat it into plastic. So there we go. Four minutes, boom, 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 boom. Woof. Alrighty, well the four minutes is up and I tell you what, this kitchen smells amazing. Like the scent that's coming off this pie is absolutely delicious. Wow. Mm -mm. It smells like a bakery. Let's whip it out. There we have it. So how about we just lift the lid on this and see what it looks like on the inside. There we go. Well, it's got some nice big chunks of meat in there. It's a little pinkish, but it's got like a nice sauce. Wow, I mean, there's heaps and heaps of chunks of meat in here. This is a really chunky meat pie. And for five bucks fifty, it'd want to be. I don't know who can afford to buy these pies. I mean, <laughs> I guess if you live at Byron Bay, you're a multi-millionaire anyway, unless you're one of the homeless that hang around in the parks down there. It's actually quite a nice shape, isn't it? Looks like a bell end. Right. Not too bad. Let's try some of the, like this meat and gravy that's on the inside here. 
Mm. The steak's nice and tender. It hasn't got a great deal of flavour, but it definitely does have some nice flavours. It's it's kind of it's quite a nice tasting pie. There's lots of meat in there. There's lots of gravy. There's lots of tasty goodness. I can't taste any herbs or spices, but yeah, it tastes all right. Mmm. It's not the best tasting pie I've ever had. In fact, some of those frozen supermarket pies, I think, taste better than this. But as far as pies go, it tastes okay. And would I get one again? Well, not for $5.50. I'd rather go and get my packet of my sergeants. Oh, those 4 and 20 pies I tried that time. I reckon they're better than this. And you can get about four of them for the same price. But you know what I better do? I better add some dead horse on here because I know what my subscribers are like. They'll be like having heart palpitations because I didn't add any on. And well, most Aussies eat it with some ketchup or tomato sauce anyway. So let's do it. No, that didn't help. But would I get one again? Well, if I was driving down the freeway and I was fanging for a pie, and then if I pulled into the BP at Byron Bay and they had these in there and I really felt like one, then yeah, I probably would. Would I buy one again from the local supermarket that sold these things? I probably wouldn't. Anyway, there's a Byron Bay pie. It's not too bad. Nice and big and chunky bits of meat in there. It's not overly flavorful, but you know, it tastes pie-like. And if you're a pie connoisseur, then you might like to give one of these a go. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time I review something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the reviews are